please, baby, it's not right. It's not right, no. Going insane. Got a problem to fix, can we face it tonight? Face it tonight, oh. No way. All right, team, well, today we're gonna to be showing you how to uh, build, create, and install your PVC rod holders for your caravan. If you're anything like me, you've got uh, young kids and yourself who like for go fishing and putting those fishing rods somewhere that's out the way and not having to pull them in, in, in and out of the, the tunnel boot um, and damaging stuff, it's, you just wanna put it out the way so it's easy to get to um, and doesn't impact any other storage areas of your caravan. So today we're gonna to be putting together this one here. I know a lot of caravan, um, owners do this uh, so this is just how I'm going to be doing it obviously you need to uh, measure up and size up your PVC pipe that was white I painted it black so it's got some matte matte um, spray paint for the pipe and then what we're gonna do is mount it using these here these 100 mil uh, hanging clamps you can get these from Bunnings all this stuff's just from Bunnings uh, I'm not sure how much it costs I might put a um, uh, cost down in the, the description there, but really all, all I needed to buy is the PVC cement to stick some things together the uh, the spray and the uh, clamps and The PVC pipe that's all I had to buy everything else I had so what I'm going to be using is a tech screws measuring tapes obviously level uh, drill hacksaw uh, all the bits and pieces that you need, need to do that so all right so there's obviously a few places where you can put the fishing rod holder for me it's in between the tunnel boot here and the cab of the caravan and the uh toolboxes here or the the weather cue holder where we're uh, putting it in here i've put the chocks up here i've already cut it to size and i put the pvc pipe in there and the chocks are there just to give a bit of gap between the the boxes and the pvc pipe so you want to uh measure out your clamps so over here I've got my clamps here they are very very long and obviously drop down way past way past the frame here so I've already measured that up that's where I'm going to put it here I put two little marks there on either side so I can get that leveled and measured up I'm going to cut this uh, hanging clamp here to size and then I'll install that on both sides getting ready to put the PVC pipe in So as you can see, we've uh, put the pipe on the brackets. I've tech screwed the brackets down there on the A-frame and uh, I'll be siliconing them in so they make sure that no moisture goes in. Uh, I'll put the top of the brackets on very, very shortly, but it's all secured, it's in place, it's all measured up, um, sits in nicely. Uh, I'll tighten up the tech screws in a minute and the brackets on top. And then all that will be left is to get the uh, end cap, which I've ordered uh, from Bazooka. Uh, they're called Bazooka end caps. Uh, somewhere around this video I'll have a, a link to where you get them. That way you've got a nice professional end cap. It's lockable uh, rather than just putting a screw um, makeshift one on. So, so I'll finish this up and uh, get it all screwed on looking nice and neat. Do any touch-ups. Add the end cap on at the very end and uh, Bob's your uncle. There's your fishing rod holder. Keeps the uh, Tunnel boot free of any uh, loose items and just things that get in and out and uh, puts this little spot here for the fishing rods which I'm super excited about heading off on a trip real soon and uh, we'll give it a bit of a, a test run and see how it goes on the bumpy tracks. All right crew, super excited. It's been uh, about a week since I did the fishing rod install. Been waiting for this little puppy here. The bazooka end cap for the fishing rod holder. So let's um, let's have a look. Let's, um, and see what we can have a look at it. All right, I'm pretty excited. Um, I'll drop some information about where I got it, how much, etc. Uh, but we'll open her up. Been waiting a week. But it's all good, wasn't going anywhere too soon. We're heading off very, very shortly though, so good to get this done and sorted. So let's have a look. A bit of paper. And there we go, got the uh, 
KRS Bazooka end cap. It's pretty well made and it's got it's a good thing about it it's got this um locking area here it's already in there so you can put a lock in there make sure it's all secure let's have a quick look what else is in there um oh look at that jelly beans <laughs> jelly beans see that's nice of it thank you for your support it's appreciated hey that's cool that's a nice little touch well done well done to you guys awesome job all right so let's go see what this looks like on hey all right, let's take a look. So, here we go. The moment of truth. And it slides on very snugly, which is good. Obviously, I'm going to give it a little bit more um, push on there and secure it on with the PVC cement that I have. If you take a look back here, beautiful. All right, done job. Looks pretty professional. And uh, pretty cool, this little twist to unlock, which is fantastic. Put it back on, twist. As I said before, it's got a spot for the padlock, which is super good. Um, man, I'm super proud, super, super impressed on that. And the best thing is, it looks good. And with the uh, painting of the black pipe and the black end cap, just suits the caravan. Super stoked.